So you've just got your fancy dandy Zion Webuild Lab gimbal. And the question now is, do you accessorize or not? Hi guys, this is a quick video just to look at some of the options or some of the items that you can get in the Zion Webuild Lab Creator Package. Whether you buy it as a complete set, as a credit package, or if you buy it as an accessory kit after the fact, or if you buy the individual items. So pretty much everyone watching this video probably knows what comes in the credit package, but just in case you don't, let's just very quickly go through exactly what is included. Okay, so as I go through the items that come in the WeBuild Lab Creator Package, I'm gonna give you the prices of the standalone items, just in case you wanna buy those. Now, they're not all available. I haven't seen them all online, either in the Z the official Zion store, which is hosted by AliExpress, or on B&H. It's kind of a mixture, really. You go one place, you see some things, go another place, you see others. So here goes. So obviously within the credit package, if you buy it like this, it's a complete package, which is what I did. In fact, I bought mine from the official Zion store. You get the, the gimbal in exactly the same package as it would if you bought it uh, on its own. Uh, and obviously within there, there's the carrying case as well and all of the accessories that are included with that basic package, and that's $599. Uh, then in the actual creator package itself, you get the rinky-dinky monopod, and I've got no idea how much that is to buy separately. You get the follow focus servo motor, and it's kind of interesting because this says that it's the trans servo zoom, fo zoom slash focus controller, which and it's got in brackets max, so maybe that's the uh, higher output or higher torque motor because I, I do believe there are two uh, servos you can buy, one for zoom, one for uh, focus. You get the rinky-dinky phone mount with uh, the crown uh, mounting to actually affix it to the gimbal and I gotta say this is beautifully made, uh, you can um, actually fold it up and you'll probably be able to hear the click, it's just Beautifully made. That's almost worth two hundred dollars itself. Maybe not, but it just I like the the construction of this thing. You get a you get an accessory belt, which basically provides an anchor point for the monopod, which we'll demonstrate later. Now, I said I was going to mention the the cost for these additional items. Actually, the phone mount, I believe that is forty nine dollars separately. Uh, you can actually buy separate tripods as well. Those come in at $39. What else did I find out there? Last but not least is the Rinky Dinky Quick Release Couplings. These are the best things since sliced bread. You can buy these uh, individually at $25 each. $50 is a lot of money, I think, for two of these. But uh, when you see uh, how well they work, uh, to me, it's a given. I asked at the beginning of the video if you, it was worth or if you wanted to accessorize or not. And in my humble opinion, if there was nothing that you bought other than the gimbal, you would want to add these on and you'll see why exactly why right now. So let's see how easy it is to move the tripod from the lower mount up to the top of the battery case to move the gimbal into underslung mode. So this is before the quick release couplings are added. Pretty quick, but that's not the end of the story. There's actually a locking pin, locking mechanism on here as well. And that, the whole idea is that once you've screwed it in, you push the locking mechanism down and it locks into one of the registration holes on the top of the battery case. I'll just give you a closer look at that. So there's the, the pin that comes out. And then on the actual gimbal itself, you can see those registration holes. Now in a minute we'll see how quickly we can move the tripod up to the top of the battery mount with the quick release couplings. But before we do that, it, it kind of confuses me. Zion are very good at paying attention to detail. I think they, they, they build a, a great product. But these registration holes are only in the top of the battery case. They don't put them in the base 
of the gimbal. And it seems to me it's just as unlikely, because it's very easy to unscrew this, it, it, there's no way to, to lock it in place. Um, so it's just as likely to come loose when it's screwed into the base and you're using like a regular gimbal. Uh, just as easy as it could easily could, could come uh, loose when screwed into the, the top mount. So I really feel that Zion missed something there. Now they may have a perfectly good explanation as to why they didn't do that, but I'd like to see it in there. And likewise, we're going to screw the quick release couplings onto here. And again, they will come unscrewed very easily as well. So same problem. I'm actually contemplating putting some uh, Loctite on this thread before I put my quick release on to make sure that it's more permanently fixed. So now I'm going to attach the quick release couplings so we can see how quickly and easy it is to move the tri tripod from the lower mount up onto the underslung mount. So here it goes. It's as easy as that. Pretty quick. I don't think you can beat that. I'll do it again. This time I'll put the tripod on as well. Sorry, the monopod. You'll notice that when you put the monopod on and the, you move the tripod up to the upper mount, that this looks incredibly like a slightly skinnier version of the Crane 3 Lab. By the way, if you didn't already know, lab means premium quality, so the Zion WeBuild Lab and the Crane 3 Lab are technically Zion's premium products. And I'd have to say, this is the first product that I bought from Zion, but I'm very impressed with the build quality, uh, quality of construction, except one little thing that I found when I f initially assembled this. So when I first, first assembled the additional items for the credit package onto the gimbal, I noticed that one of these quick release couplings had some movement in it. In fact, there was movement between the tripod and the gimbal itself because it was the one that I put on the, on the tripod. And I was a little concerned about that. Obviously, I'd ordered from China, from AliExpress. So I was a little worried if it was defective, how easy that was going re to, to return the item if I had to return it to get a replacement. Um, so I took a closer look before I decided to contact Zion about that. And what I found was... And there you go, that proves my point that that comes unscrewed real easy. What I found was, on the lower side of the female part of the quick release couplings, there's a series of three screws. Hopefully you can see those in, that, in the light there. And when I took a screwdriver to these screws, I noticed that they, were, they felt tight, but actually they hadn't been screwed all the way in. The only reason why they were tight is because Zion puts Loctite onto these screws, obviously because they might come unscrewed over a period of time or will become loose. So I unscrewed them one at, one at a time, uh, put Loctite on and screwed them back in firmly and everything is just great. So no real complaint. Obviously there was a quality control issue in assembly, uh, but certainly not to the detriment of the product and easy to, easy to remedy. So something to just keep an eye open for. And really truly really, that's all I could fault in the, in, the, in the credit package was the one slightly defective or misassembled quick release coupling. Apart from that, everything's great. And as you could see, um, the actual quick release coupling is just wonderful in terms of moving that. Uh, tripod up to the uh, the underslung mount. There was one other thing that I, I found, uh, or should I say, there was one other thing that I questioned after I'd uh, received the package and started to look at the components and the way everything goes together. And that was, I was thinking to myself, this wonderful little monopod, okay, so um, I guess I unscrew this, this foot and um, now I can fix it on the anchor point for the For the belt, and I was thinking, well, that's kind of stupid. If I've got to keep on taking it off, why didn't they give me three quick release couplings? Obviously, two for the gimbal and one for the monopod. Well, okay, so I'm, uh, I was obviously a little slow that day because this is actually a quick release coupling as well. It works very differently to these quick release couplings. Obviously, it serves a different purpose. Uh, this has just got, as you can see there, two ball bearings which locate in a recess or a, a groove that's around that anchor point that we screwed into. The other nice thing is you can actually leave the rubber foot screwed on to the bottom of that 
so you haven't got to keep taking off just to mount it into the, the, the belt itself and the anchor point. Um, it does, it, it's kind of cumbersome when you first get it, it's a little tight, but once you've used it a few times, it works just great, perfect, does exactly what it's supposed to do. So there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that the quick release couplings are useful. What about the monopod? So if we move the tripod up to the underslung mount again, If you want to follow in this mode, I don't, I don't feel that it's convenient to hold it at the bottom and the top. I feel it still needs an additional handle. And so that's where the monopod comes in for sure. I've extended it because I, I'm going to put it into the belt in a minute and show you the operation when it's in the belt or the anchor point. Uh, but I think we can all agree that this provides a much more stable way to hold the hold the gimbal itself when you try to move, and it's really I mean it's it's obviously far better than a regular gimbal where you're holding everything down here and you, you kind of got a bit of movement really, right? Whereas with the the Wii bill and the Crane Three, obviously you've got two point lock on the gimbal, and and so I think you can hold it a lot more steady uh, and a lot more comfortable as well. Moving on. When you drop the tripod into the accessory belt mount point, I'm not so sure you can actually you could walk with it like this. I don't know. Or should I say I don't think you could film with it like this because it's going to push against. It pushes against your leg. There's going to be some movement there. But certainly when you're static, it, it takes the weight away from the gimbal and the, and the camera. If you were if you were doing jib shots or crane shots, crane movement, should I say? So it's certainly nice for that, and also it's nice to be able to take the weight off. Um, if, you, if you're doing a long shoot. Um, walking around obviously with it like this is fine, but I, like I say, I don't think that you could actually film with this in the anchor point. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. It's really about the quick release couplings. I think they, like I said, I keep saying it, they're the best things since sliced bread. And uh, really they are. I mean, they make uh, the assembly, disassembly or movement of the, of the tripod so much more easy. So in conclusion, to answer my question, uh, do you accessorize or not? I really think you do. Maybe you don't want everything. Maybe just the quick release couplings and the foam mount are the essential items there. And, you know, I, I would imagine that sooner or later you're going to want the follow focus servo. But apart from that, um, the answer is yes, no question about it. I hope you found what I went through there of use, certainly pointing out the potential issue with the quick release coupling, and also my concerns about things coming unscrewed when they're not supposed to. I, I, as I said, I really have no idea why Zion have not put those registration holes in the bottom of the gimbal so that the tripod, when you screw it in, locks in place. So um, that's a mystery that only Zion can answer. They may have a very good reason. So with that being said, thanks for watching. If you liked or got some benefit from this video, then please click like and by all means subscribe. We'd like you to see you back again uh, to see some of our other videos. Thank you very much. Bye for now.